What, you didn't learn from the first time? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another top 10 games that trolled the cheaters and pirates. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at even more video games that sabotaged the gameplay in order to punish those not playing by the rules. If you know of a funny way that developers got back at pirates and cheaters that isn't on this list, be sure to check out our original video on the topic. Number 10, this silly copy message, Pugsy. Ah yes, you guys remember Pugsy, right? Okay, that's fine, we don't either. While this seemed to be yet another platformer cashing in on the Mario craze of the time, what it is perhaps best known for is its snarky anti-piracy message straight from the developers themselves. Pugsy used SRAM as an anti-piracy measure. Because the game employed passwords, internal SRAM was not present in genuine cartridges of the game. However, the game does a quick SRAM check after the completion of the fifth level. The game will lock down, presenting a note from the developers in which they tell you to stop playing a quote, silly copy, and to go buy the real version of the game. Number 9. Ban Hammer Time, Gary's Mod Like a great fisherman, Gary's Mod set the bait, cast it out, and waited patiently for that juicy reward. And it worked flawlessly. In order to catch pirates, an intentional error was placed into the game, which would read, unable to shade polygon normals. Naturally, players who received this error message went to the forums in order to seek out a solution. The only problem is that this message would only be seen in illegal copies of the game, meaning anyone who asked about the error online was automatically outed as a pirate, and their accompanying Steam ID could result in a permanent ban. This error message apparently resulted in 2,500 pirates being identified in just 15 hours. Number 8. An Honest Warning Spyro, Year of the Dragon Yeah, come on, let's go! Once upon a time, the Spyro games were notorious for being so easily cracked. Upon release of this title, the developers put their foot down and filled the game with pirate booby traps. At the beginning, Zoe clearly explains that you're playing an illegal copy of the game, and as such, you should expect consequences. If you decide to ignore that warning, the consequences you received range from altering the game's language settings to removing necessary items for story progression. But perhaps the most devilish method they employed was sending players back to the beginning of the game and erasing their save file if they managed to reach the final boss. You can't say you weren't warned. Number 7. Viruses. Cross Days. Not for one second should you consider sharing your, uh, personal habits on social media for all to see. Unfortunately for those that stole the erotic manga game Cross Days in Japan, that's exactly what happens. Pirates would download what looked like the game installer from file sharing websites, but it was actually vicious malware that would steal personal information from the pirate's computer. After taking a brief survey once installed, the victim's personal information and a screenshot of their desktop would be uploaded on a website so everyone could see their erotic fetishes. This one's definitely crossing the line of personal privacy, but then again, it certainly teaches you a lesson. Bye -bye. Number 6. A True Ear Assault Michael Jackson, The Experience, DS version Who enjoys the sound of a thousand vuvuzelas playing at once? Nobody, that's who. For those who pirated the DS version of this game, they were treated to a full-blown assault on the ears. Stolen copies would literally be unplayable, as necessary button prompts were removed, eliminating the entire concept of gameplay, and games licensed music was replaced with the horrible sound of vuvuzelas. This made it sound like you were in the middle of an obnoxious soccer match being surrounded by thousands of drunk fans instead of just, you know, jamming out to Billie Jean. Number 5. Cheater Segregation – Marvel vs. Capcom 3 – Fate of Two Worlds Fighting games and rage quitting is like the yin and yang of gaming, you couldn't think of a more harmonious connection. As this game keeps track of win-loss records, many furious fighters were disconnecting from the internet once a loss was imminent. Fortunately for those of us who don't disconnect upon the slightest hint of losing, the developers thought of a brilliant solution. Once a clear pattern begins to emerge of a certain player quitting, the game would segregate them from everyone else and put them on a special server with fellow rage quitters. This would ensure that not only would you stop ruining everyone else's experience, but you'd probably end up getting a good taste of your own medicine too. Number 4. Everything Explodes! Command & Conquer Red Alert 2 Anyone who's ever played the masterpiece that is Red Alert 2 knows there are two essential things to the gameplay, units and bases. 
it's kind of hard to play without them, which is essentially what happens if you steal this game. After spending valuable and somewhat lengthy amounts of time setting up, all of your units and bases will explode into a fiery mess within 30 seconds of starting, leaving you with nothing but flaming craters where once all of your hopes and dreams stood. This not only creatively wasted the pirates time and energy, but provided them with a brief period of excitement before literally blowing up in their faces. Number three, permanent eye patch, Alan Wake. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Well, we can't think of anything that's more fitting for pirates. Upon illegally obtaining and booting up this game, pirates literally become pirates, as the character of Alan Wake would don a permanent eye patch throughout the duration of the story, forcing pirates to acknowledge their own thievery while playing the game. Call me Snake. As if the constant reminder wasn't enough, the game will also politely ask you to buy a real copy during the loading screens. While it's not as harmful or game-ending as some of the others on this list, it's certainly pretty funny and referential, so much so that Remedy would continue the tradition in their next game, Quantum Break. Number 2. Making Out with Grandma, The Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings Finally, the CEO and co-founder of developer CD Projekt has estimated that The Witcher 2 has been pirated over 4.5 million times. While CD Projekt Red seems to be gaming's gods nowadays due to their quality titles and anti-DRM stance, even they aren't ones to let the piracy of their games slide. While their lawsuit-threatening letters to pirates upset many, no one saw any issues with the hilarious trolling that was turning the beautiful women of the game into old and wrinkled grandmas. <sighs> <laughs> Rather than making love to the gorgeous ladies as should be, Geralt instead finds himself in the same situation as Jack Torrance from The Shining, making out with a somewhat undesirable older lady instead. While not as harmful as a good old fashioned lawsuit, this trick was certainly pretty memorable. Before we get in trouble with our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Threatening Your Save Files, Banjo-Kazooie <laughs> Lesson 1 of Banjo-Kazooie, do not piss off Grunty. If you do, terrible, terrible things will happen to you. Players who decided to cheat during the Sandcastle level found this out the hard way. If too many illegal cheats are entered during this section, like opening no doors or moving obstacles, then you will get a fair but stern warning in which you are told that your game's save file will be erased if you use another cheat. If you ignore the warning, the game actually goes through with its threat and your entire save file will be gone when you next boot up the game. The real lesson here is just don't cheat or, you know, piss off Grunty. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.